thank you for that warm welcome. It really means a lot because this is one of the hardest things that I've ever done. But I think it's very, very important. Just in case you were wondering if you heard Rob Pincus right, my name is Dan Gross. And for six years, I was president of the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence. And no, I didn't make a wrong turn at the Nats parade and wind up here by accident. Um, and yes, it is one of the hardest things I've ever done, but I am here proudly, and I am here entirely by free will. I'm here because I believe fundamentally in the Second Amendment right to bear arms. And I'm here, as Rob said, because I know that at the end of the day, all of you and I share a common goal. We want to keep our homes, our schools, our families, our loved ones safe. But I'm, but I'm also here for another reason. I'm here because I've seen how all of you, decent, responsible, law-abiding gun owners, are relentlessly and I believe unfairly demonized. I'm here because I've seen firsthand how an ideological hatred of guns and the people who own them is more important to some people than the actual goal of saving lives. And, I've, and I'm here because I've seen firsthand how tragic those misplaced priorities are. As someone who, as Rob said, has experienced a gun-related tragedy in my own family, and as someone who has spent my life dedicated, whether you agree with the things I've said or not, my life dedicated to the pure goal of preventing what happened to me from happening to other people, there is nothing that pisses me off more than people who pretend they care about saving lives but really have other agendas. And at the end of the day, the reason why I'm swallowing hard and doing this here today is regardless of which side of the political issue you're on, if you're willing to have an honest conversation about what we can do to prevent the loss of innocent lives in a way that upholds the Second Amendment and respects people who own guns, you and I are going to get along. And if you're not willing to do all those things, you and I are going to have issues. And I can tell you, when I was leading Brady, I had a lot of issues with a lot of people who thought they were on my side. The reality is, when it comes to guns, in many ways, I believe I have much more in common with all of you, a crowd of proud, law-abiding, and responsible gun owners, than I do with a crowd of people who just want to ban guns. Now, I want to keep it real. I'm going to be honest. There are probably still some areas where you and I may disagree. Probably fewer than you'd think, but still, I'm pretty sure, based on the things that I've heard here today, that we don't agree on everything. That's okay. Thank you. But make no mistake, that stuff, those few areas where we may disagree, that is not why I'm here. Just the opposite. I'm here because of how incredibly much we fundamentally do agree. The fact is, I didn't come here to build common ground. I came here because I know that there's common ground that already exists. And because I believe that that common ground represents a huge opportunity to do what we all want at the end of the day, which is to keep us all safe. And just as importantly, the common ground I want to talk about here today Repre represents an opportunity to keep us all safe without, now wait for it, without any involvement of the government. Because I've always believed, if you want to talk about preventing tragedies with guns that are legally owned, that should be a conversation you have with the people who own those guns.